this is the freshest cookie. This is not a stale cookie. This is a perplexed cookie. But this is not a stale cookie. This cookie is fresh. This cookie is coming at you. This is a really weird camera angle, isn't it? Yeah, what the heck, cookies? This is day 22, Minecraft Wizzy, W-I-Z-Z-Y, -Z -Z on the dough bowl. We have started Archimedes ships. I actually started this recording, found out that my open broadcast system didn't record anything. So here I've done all this, all this construct and thought this, I had this horrendously long recording. Yeah, right. No. No, not so. All right. So here is a ship. This is Archimedes ships. If you make these things right, they will run. You have to have balloon stuff. And you do that by putting wool with string. That, that, that may or may not be a problem. Of course, my first problem is I still have water. What? Just when I thought I'd done everything. Okay. What we're building here is a wet hanger. A very wet hanger, actually. An incredibly wet hanger. All right, because you can still hear water, I, I still have leaks. I have leaks everywhere. Here's the premise of this. If it is done right, which it is not, it's obvious it's not done right. And that would be a problem. All right, let's. When this is done right, truly done right, you do not have water sounding in here. See, I have to fill this up with sta sand to, uh, okay, yeah, but I still, I still hear water, so I still got a problem. All right, well, what I have done is I have built all the way around here, all the way around the ship, all the way around to here. If I go down underneath, um, well, if I come down, I should have a pretty weather tight seal. I'm going to place these here where I can sort of see. See if I got any holes in my bottom. Oh, well, that's now there's going to be a whole crud. And I just let it in. What I meant to do, did not mean to do that. All right. Except for the hole I just put in the bottom of this. What you see is that I have a, uh, a nice, hey, is that, is that? Okay. What I should have is a, t a watertight box. And 
Apparently I do. Uh, okay. Up she goes. All right. So the box surrounds my ship. I'm making a dry dock. Here's the back end of the ship. It's going to have to be disengaged from the land, of course. But by the same token, I need to have an area that is a workshop. So we're going to very quickly make a little workshop. I, don't, I, I had this incredulously long video before. I really don't need it any longer. Right. The popping is... Yeah. Is, is the sound of something I really don't want. Good plank floor. Perfect. This doesn't have to be a very big thing. Yet, well, it does actually have to be built. I like to have an adequate structure here. Does not have to be. Does not, I don't need to have a scenic thing. This is a utility shed. It has but one purpose, to allow me to do the, um, put together everything that I need to make the ship. There is a helm, and the helm will make the ship move, and there is, um, there is this balloon material which will help the ship to float. It is a flotation stuff. You need lots of this stuff. I'm doing a very fast and dirty build. Not that it's a big deal because I do play on peaceful. So I don't have to worry about Things that go uh, in the night. But since I've already been on this once already, I really don't want a very long, drawn out thing. Now, this is fine. I believe there's a crafting table right here. Perfect. This is, I don't really need a whole lot in here. Crafting table, perfect. And uh, a chest. Y yeah, and those of you that have followed me know that I've got an ME system back at the, back at the uh, shop. But I really don't need an ME system in here. The things that I'm going to put in here are very basic. Honestly, it's very basic. You know me. Those of you that follow me know me. 
I only make one of any kind of thing. Now, I could probably put in some ladder work so I can get down. And the best place to do that is over here. Oh, really? Come on. Okay. For the most part, that gets me down into here. And then as I unearth this a little more, well, see, like that. So this is basically all I need. Um, I mean, let's put a torch there. And let's put two up front, three up front. There. Now, this is, for all parts and practical purposes, Port Cookie's dry dock. I don't know why that's sitting like that, but it is. That's, that's, that's weird. And this is actually on the short side. If I'm here in water, it means, well, I'm right near water on that side, but I shouldn't be hearing it on my ship. I'm still dealing with water issues of water flow on my ship. What I had to do was sand it. Because as of course, as you might realize, most of this ship was under the water. And I built the dry dock, well, the wood construct for it, around the ship. Right. Too far. Okay. Now the thing about this is, it will not take me much to break this down so that I can release the ship when I'm done. Meanwhile, I have together certain things. For this ship to run, it needs a controller. And I am missing one very critical element. A stick of iron. Meh! Meh! Uh, uh. Um, yeah, no. Let's slip over to the shop, grab that iron, and come back over. I had um, been going after my sheep, which may not be as important as I thought. My wonderful shop. That yes, and see, it still receives. It's still it's still receiving power at this hour. This is fabulous, folks. All right, I'm going to put away my clippers. And... Um, how about that? We'll just take 10 iron. Oh, I got a fishing lure out of this. Oh, look at that. Don't need those. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. 
and probably don't need leather either. Okay. The other thing I don't need is that. God help me. I hate those because if you if you activate it, you go into this room, and I, I I'm not kidding you. You you just end the game because you can't get out. All right, now that I have the, the iron, it was wood sticks. Yeah, no, I need every. I have everything else I need. So let's go back over to pork cookies. This is pork cookies. I don't know if you can see it. There it is, pork cookies. And this ship was basically just sitting in the water. I mean, why do a new build when you can fix an old ship and voila, there it is. All right, so the recipe for the helm. First off, you want some sticks. Four sticks. And it's, well, we don't need this many. One, two, three, four. The iron goes in the middle. And then the sticks go like this. And this should be, and this should be the helm. Okay, look it up, cookies. Um, all right, let's try this. Sometimes it, the sticks and the, and the blocks are in the wrong place. The only other thing I can think of it might be is I need... No, there it is. Ship's helm. Voila. I now have a ship's helm. With the use of this... I will be able to run a ship. Of course, I can't tell where I'm going, but all right, then, then balloon. Air balloon. Yeah, air balloon. And this is what it is. It's a piece of wool, piece of string. Now I have a pulverizer. If I get enough wool, I can make string. Yeah, I'm not kidding. You can do, see, spinning wheel module, you could do that. You could do shaped crafting. You can do that. You can do that. You can do a macerator. You, you can get it from a mob. You can crush or you can pulverize any colored wool and it will give you four string. The nice thing is, <laughs> this ship has a lot of wool. Ain't that a kick? Ain't that a kick? Okay, so we can just set this aside. We'll put our wool in here. We'll put our iron in here for now. We don't really need much else. Like I said, this is relatively easy. And this is port cookies. Now, I still have some bugs like this. Uh huh. See, look at this. Look at that.
Dang it. Just lost me a piece of stuff here. This is kind of cool. So far, this compartment is dry. Very dry. No. Didn't get it all. Oh, fudge bunnies. Now we're in a soup again. Oh, God. did we not get? All right, down in here somewhere. So far, so good. We're going to go one deck at a time. Just make this quick. This is how you get the water out. And if I did it right, this area, this whole deck should pretty much be dry. But since I hear water underneath my feet, it means I haven't got it all down below ships. Yeah, who knows? But this is kind of, this is good. Okay. Because, okay. No, come on. Ah, uh, we have irregular shapes. That's, that's, that may be part of my problem. 
is if it's an irregular shape. Yeah, okay. Dang it, I hated to do that. Break the deck up. I can't get at these. These are irregulars. These are irregular shapes that don't just want to. All right. And there it goes again. Okay. We're actually at the outside of the ship here. This is all. Well. Where is that piece of blood? Here we go. You kind of get the idea here. Happily, that's above the water line. didn't get dealt with. See, we got a whole area it didn't get. And then we just, okay. When you start going below the decks, that's when you start seeing the really funky stuff. What's nice to know... Oh, shoot. That for the most part, the deck here is okay. Oh, maybe not. No.
All right. Oh, that's our holy car. That's my problem. Okay. Shoot, no, no, ah. Well, you can see where this becomes its own set of intricate problems, folks. You almost have to go down into these holds and try and figure out where you did it wrong. The good news is that this upper deck is okay. Finally. If I quit breaking the ship doing this, it's okay. What's if I keep up? Oh, nope, that wasn't okay. Why is that okay? All right. Well, I'll tell you what, this is the leak patrol. <laughs> Freshest cookies on the leak patrol, that is. Trying to understand where is all that leaking coming from. You put out one leak, and then you get another. And that might be it right there. See, every little square of water that you don't get, that's, that's a problem. Oh, uh, then there's stuff like this. 
th this is where you just this this is where this is not 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 This is where you go. Are you serious? Are you serious, cookies? Plug it. Plug the hole. Does take a while to get all the sand out. What I'm looking for is the floor. There it is. The other reason for playing in this creative mode is
be it. Never plugged. I just want to plug it now. Now you can see that this is finally, is this clay? Oh, we'll leave that. That's mineable. Clay is a good thing to be able to get at. Okay. Now you've already got earth protection here, so I mean, that's a good thing. And this should already packed. See, the thing is, where Earth is, you don't, you shouldn't have any water. Just shouldn't have any. And you don't. Unless you didn't um, unplug something correctly. Okay. And that should have been all plugged out. Right. No, but I don't know. See, it just, oh, uh, see, I hear water. Okay. Not everything got plugged. Why? I don't know. That's why right there. That's it right there. See, sometimes you have plants, and if you have plants... Then, then you've got a problem there, too. Because, of course, the plants stop you from being able to plug. If there is a plant and you are placing a block, any block. Oh, uh, let's see. Any kind of block at all. That block doesn't actually sit on that plant. It, it's just a thing. But see, this is all part of unearthing all the shit from the dirt. And like I said, a, a vast majority of this ship is... Um, is um, now of course we can't have rock on board that's ridiculous but this would be another part of the ship you have to get the rock out in order to unearth the ship 
Yeah. Not, I'm happily not hearing a lot of water. Of course, that might not mean much. I mean, who knows? Oh. Good. Oh, cold. Yeah, you have to unearth the ship. Then you have to rebuild it. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a process. But you've seen some of it. Now, the good news is where there's dirt, there is much less of a likelihood of there being an issue with the ship, you know, flooding. It's where I've had to sand. So we have an extra chamber here. Say, we have all this cotton, all this wool. This is a great thing. This is a big find. Really, it's a big find. You know. It's a really big find. Oh, I'm hearing a lot of water. It means something isn't properly unearthed. I don't know. There it is. Whole freaky section of the whole front end never got done. Oh, look at this. Oh, for heaven's sake. All right, well. Oh, well, okay. No. Watch. I'm going to go into a little bit more. And there it just shuts off. No. Somewhere in here it didn't get didn't get it either. Ha! Right there. Piece of grass. Just a lousy piece of grass. Don't know what that was. Pressure plates will also stop you from being able to put water in or whatever filling with sand. See, pressure plates will also stop it. Anything that sits on the block, 
going to stop you from being able to um, adequately do the job. I'm still hearing it, though. Somewhere it's not. No, that seems to be okay now. Which means this is all coming from underneath, from below decks. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Another problem is irregular planking. I had irregular planking here and and another pressure plate. Dang it. Which made it very difficult to um, to extricate stuff. All right. Well, for the most part, this has been successfully dried out. This is how a ship should be when it is in dry dock. Of course, you know there is the water around me. Too. All right. For the most part, this is this is a good thing. This is this is this is this is there. All right, where is this coming from? Just any little area that's that doesn't get every little block of water must be uh, displaced by uh by the blocks of sand otherwise up uh, see okay Something's very wrong. Oh, I see plant life. Oh, oh, come on. I see it. I have to be able to get to it. There it is. There it is. All right. This is, this is Mondo Coolo, folks. Oh, no. Cookies, you're destroying your own clay.
Not cool. Thank you. Of course, you did see the sand below, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Below decks, below, 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 there is also the flooring. There is below decks. Which, oh. Which, see, that didn't get done right. Now see, this is all below the keel. It's very important. Any holes. We can't have any holes. Because that's actually the water line. See, this is the keel of the ship. This is what you need to see. This is the keel of the ship. like something didn't get sanded properly amidships now what I wonder is why uh. mm. yes of course you can't just means there's a whole area here that was never properly treated. This is a leaky cookies. Gonna try and find the other reason. Wow. I'm just getting flushed out here. Which means I have to do this a more destructive way. Going below decks. See why? Why this isn't okay. What is the dealio?
Ah, uh, no, forward. No, no, shit. Yeah. Freaking force of water. What I'm not hearing now, below decks, is any water. This is a huge deal. No, this wasn't a huge deal. All right. Ah, sugar daddies. Something that didn't get right in here. Right, where is it? Here?
All right, this is amidships. This is quite literally an area amidships that never got filled. Yep. Salts me like having to do that. Ah! Right. Why? Okay. I'm not hearing much of anything now. So, this is. Oh. This is fresh as cookies. Uh, still on sanding a ship. Ah, uh, see? Just when you think you got it all. All right, that makes me think that there's plants. The other side of this wood, dang it. See, the more ship I break, the worse off it is for me at the end because I start losing track of how the ship goes together. Uh. But every time that I hit another water pocket, well, that doesn't help. But 
we have a drying in interior, and eventually what you're supposed to have is an intact dry hull. And what you'll then do is, uh, let's see if we can go below decks here. Let's just drop below decks. See this keel area? All this keel area. All this wood. It actually needs to be replaced with the balloon stuff. Just, just has to be replaced with the balloon stuff. Now I can have lights around the ship. I just can't have them touching the ship. The ship has to be disengaged. All the sand has to be out. All the water has to be out. Let's see. All this earth has to be gone. Nothing touching the ship or frack. Or the are you kidding me? Ugh. Just when I thought I was okay. Where is this coming from? Better yet, why? So you have to also wonder, is there an imperfect seal on the wall? Now see, this does go back to the land. I don't mind if this goes back to the land. As long as I can unearth the ship from the land, see? I don't care if this is all ground back here. So long as the ship is unearthed. See, this keel can't be touching anything. Now, on my last, my last attempt to do this, uh, I was giving some nautical terminology here, and I will do it again. We're heading towards the back end or aft end of the ship. We are now pace facing towards the, the bow. This is the front of the ship, the bow. The aft end of the ship is also called the stern. You know, as in your rudder is located in your stern. The stern of the ship. This area here that needs to be unearthed and is being unearthed now is called the keel. This is the deepest part of the ship and is where it's going to draft the greatest amount of water. And this will be the hardest part. Ooh! Whoa! The hell? Well, that leads straight down now, don't it? Kind of needed to be at this vantage point, though, in order to completely... This is the keel. This is the deepest part of the ship. This is where, th when they do a harbor, when a harbor is built, it is built to take into mind, to keep in mind or bear in mind, 
the keel of the ship. It's how much water will this ship draw? See? This is a pretty much solid area. This would be a pretty much a solid part of the vessel. You wouldn't you wouldn't want this this stuff in here though. That I can guarantee you. This may be a, a small storage compartment. It can be very small, but usually this is a very solid part of the ship. This is below decks. Some ships have two decks. This one does not. This is the facing the front or the bow of the ship. So I am on the right left side, port side. This is the port porthole. And over here, through the door, is the starboard side. Hard a port. Turn it left. My daddy was a Navy man. So was his daddy before him. So, they built their, their uh, sailing ship, the Vixen. The Vixen. My adopted family name was Fox. My mother, who remarried. Don't ask. It ain't pretty. Some guys just shouldn't be marrying the girls. But apparently Bio Dad was one of those types that shouldn't be marrying the girls. So Mom remarried, and these folks had the last name of Fox, and a vixen is a female fox. So they named their, I think it was 23-foot sailing boat, the Vixen. Built it from scratch. That's right, folks. Them Navy boys. They tough. They tough cookies. Again, this is part of the keel of the ship so I gotta kind of make sure that it gets unearthed completely once I have unearthed the keel and unearthed the ship I can then understand how this ship was made. This is a found vessel, by the way, folks. I didn't make this. It was sitting in the water. All I did was create a dry dock and um, unearth it. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Taking away the earth from the ship So that when it is finally done, it can float because it will be free and unencumbered. And that basically is what we want, folks, free and unencumbered. All the decks, I don't really care if there's dirt surrounding, honestly. It really doesn't matter.
In fact, if I'm not careful, I'll let all the water in because I will have hit an area that I shouldn't have. See? need that walking trough back here. We still have ship. Look at that. There's still ship here. There is still ship. This ship is gone and embedded straight in, straight in the rock. Look at this. Look at this. Well, that's a little better. Uh, sorry. There are a few things in this game that uh, I, I am going to actually mine. That's one of them. Hey, gods. Okay. Deep iron ore. That's, it's, that's very difficult to come across. So when I find goodies like this... I don't mince. Okay. Back to it. That's, that's different. Don't know what that is. I will mine it, though. No. Go get my nuggets. Well, that that pretty much takes care of the keel. We will do some more in another day. I think we have finally gotten our 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 water situation under control though. This is a great thing.
No. Just when I thought I'd got it situated. Where did I? Oh. This is from a bug decks. No, whoops. This is from above the deck. So where is this coming from? Oh. Do, do I have a leak? No. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, that's just, that's weird. That's a weird thing. Okay, well. This is basically what you end up doing now is unsanding all this. Is, all this was water. When I was first doing this, this was all water. Uh. Oh, this is this leaves me very uncomfortable. Yeah, this this leaves me super de duperty uncomfortable. Yeah, no. Right, right down to the floor. Where's the floor? Right. Uh, there's a good reason for this. This is part of the dry dock. And um, I can just see myself smacking this stupid piece of wood. Smacking the sand, getting carried away. And then all of a sudden, 
I have a real problem. I've left the C in. See, as long as I can see the the wall there, um, yeah. And it's basically because I filled up with sand that I, uh, I'm now like cat nervous. And want this either. Right. Uh, if it's if it's earth, I don't care. I'm going to care more about the hull of the ship. It's, you know, to unhull the ship. Yeah, I... See, as we unhold the ship, as we get it out of the the dirt, and we we get it free of of the sand and all that. Now, don't forget, we had to fill this with sand for a very good reason. We had a problem with a lot of water. This thing was underwater. And as you've seen, it only takes, like, barely anything to, for there to be another waterworks. Just, it only takes one block of sand that didn't get in the water. Say. And then I've got a real problem. Really? Unbelievable. Or me with a wood block just going a little too bananas. If you notice, though, the water is not geysering in. And this is a good thing. We don't want it geysering in. That's for sure. done. Sort of. Good news is I'm not 
punching too many holes in the walls. We also don't want things hanging on the ship, neither. Actually, in a way, it doesn't really matter how much sand is down here. It's that we don't have anything connected now to the ship. That's the biggest thing. But still, if you, if you have a nice, clean, dry dock, that's good for future builds. I mean... It really is. It's pretty doggone good here. That's pretty doggone good. So. Pretty much unearthing the ship from its moorings. And the midships is pretty good. Once again, I have to be very careful. Because this is built against a sand back and uh, kind of nervous again, just like I was before. Ah, something's not right. We'll see. And it never, oh God. Well, that was interesting. All right, well, that was interesting. I don't know how that didn't work out. Okay. Uh, just bear with me a couple of minutes now, folks. This is very important. Ah, ha, ha. See, because that was water right there. That was a water line. Right there. Darn near let the, the whole lake in. All right, that's, that's a lot safer. And this ought to be the last of the sand, pretty much. And then, of course, there's unearthing the back end of the ship. Now, mind you, please, this wall does a buttress back upon a structure. Oops. Now, if I undermine that structure where this dirt is concerned, we're going to have a lot of problems.
Don't want to lose my good wool, though. That's going to be a thing to come by. Okay, well, see, now I know this is shipped for one good reason. Red wool. Is this the back end of my ship? Nope. How do I know this? Because this isn't the back end of my wall. Mm-hmm. but it's pretty near the end of it. Yeah, there we go. This is where I want to be. If we can take most of this free up all the way back to my wall, I'm kind of assured that I have broke through. See, there's still ship there. There we go. Alrighty then. We are still unearthing the keel. We've got it a good piece. We've taken care of the water. What I'm trying to do is, is make this punch this up enough to where you can sort of see from somewhere.
Now, the thing you need to realize about this is that this is a lot of landlock. Right, see this is a lot of landlock. But once you unlock this from the land, you start to get a picture about the ship. You start to see what you've got in front of you. Ordinarily you would start at a dry dock and you would you would just kind of work your way through. But in this case, we're not. We're, we're going at this slightly differently. And there's kind of a reason why I want this wall to be unencumbered. Because as we are, we need a building space. Yeah, okay. This, I think, is good for now. Lest we forget, we've also got a ladder here. We've got to be able to walk around. So. Where's my ladder? There's my ladder. And let's see. Do I still have ladder on me? No. All this sand. Didn't need all the sand. Do need to increase my ladder here. So we will. Here. There. Now. Down one more. Okay. Need a catwalk that lead me down into the down here. And this does have to be cleaned away. Got to be able to work on the ship itself unencumbered. Okay. And we'll need to be able to walk through the keel. And then Now, in this case, I'm just going to place the wood planks down. This, after, this is, after all, oh, wait, I need, my, I need my keel walk. Whoa, 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 whoa. What you doing, cookies? Some of this is good, some of this is not. You need to have your keel walk. do need to be able to walk underneath the keel, cookies. Yes, you do. What I'm making now is the, um, I'll just call it a keel walk, but this is a lower area here 
because all this keel has to be replaced. It's a mighty irregular. Uh, 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 Right. Kill area. See if this will do it. Good. Now I can access the entire length of this keel. Proper like. Right. Right. Not quite. This should be it. Right, this is the length of my keel run. Perfect. Perfect. Fun. Something I don't get a whole lot of either of anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can now walk underneath the boat the full length. However, I see two things in the ground. Pardon me. Like I said, I don't find this very often. And uh, Sirtis Quartz is a little on the valuable side. Especially when you start getting into electronics. Alrighty then. Ooh, astral silver ore. Yes, please. If I ever need to get into uh, spaceship building, I might just want that stuff. That's copper. That's tin. That's more copper. Okay. And is this aluminum? Yes. 
also something I can use. All right, then. This is it. We have, for the most part, unearthed this. Come up. Uh, come up. As you can see, we just take a real quick spin. For the most part, the ship is now exposed. But it is exposed in dry dock. That's the difference. The ship is exposed in dry dock. We don't much care that this is hanging over because that's sort of set. And as you can see, the decks are there. There was a lot of sand. We had to go down amidships and all that. And deal with the sand. It was just a sandy, sandy mess. So. Let's see. How well a job now. The biggest thing is to have this area, all this area, free and unencumbered of water. And as you have seen, it oops, doesn't take much for there to be a water problem. It really doesn't. And I'm not going to need this here now. There's a lot of chests. This is... Uh, Massively Chestapalooza here. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. Well, there are two decks then. Howler. What do we just now? We just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Wait. 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 I just came down below. So, we have two decks. This is a double decker ship. This is just the right thing with all the chests. Oh, bollocks, broke a chest. Uh, as you can see, I've probably raided this ship once already. <laughs> yeah, Cookies hasn't, Cookies knew about this ship because Cookies done raided this ship. Well, what did you expect? I'm a crafty cookie. I'm a cookie who uses the cheat mode to be able to be underwater. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I did raid this ship. Didn't find a heck of a lot, though. I'm quite surprised. It's very surprising what I didn't find. And then you're sitting here going, oh, my. Oh, well, now, see? This is what that. This is why we do it. That's why we do it, right there. And then we go like that. That's why we do it. All it takes is for me to not fill one block, just one, just one lousy block of sand, and wham. She's holy. But she has two decks. Cargo decks. Amidships. And then, of course, you've got all this mess back there. And when I say all this mess, I ain't kidding. You got a place to make stuff? 
And then you've got, well, this is the aft end of the ship, actually. That's what you've got. So this is a quite the deal, actually. We have relatively clear amidships. The nice thing about this is, though, that um, for all the rain, it's just rain. It's not actually going to do now. If you're wondering what all this is, these are the masts. This is a two-masted ship. If it had more mass, it might be a ship of the line, but it, it doesn't. Just like that, it's clear. But this is two huge masts. Stairs to an upper parapet on both ends. And then there's all that wool. Wool that I'm going to be mining. Next time... On day 23 of the dough bowl, the unearthing continues. Ooh. Oh, look at all those goodies. Nah, leave them where they are. Just don't break the stupid chess cookies. Yeah, hallelujah, amen. Okay, look at that. Double door, this is the stateroom. See all this lovely carpeting? This would be the captain's quarters. Ahoy, mateys! Yes! All the pretties here. Yep. Glass. Funny how I don't have any, like, port stuff. Oh, oh, whoa. That wasn't very nice. Cheese cookies. Come on. Clean it up nicely. This is going to be your cabin, by the way. Oh, yes. Cookies is going to take the captain's cabin. It'll be the captain cookies here. Oh, shoot. Jeez. All right. Right. Yeah, get all this dirt off my carpet, man. My goodness. There's a hatch. Well, there was a hatch. Right. And this is the after deck. So now you start to see the actual shape of, oh, God. These magic plants, I'm telling you right now, drive you nuts. There it is. That's going to be the big ship. In its dry dock. It 
pour cookies on the dough bowl. I just can't stop unearthing. No, no, it's, it's addicting. They say Minecraft is addicting. Is this the addicted cookies? Oh, no! <laughs> Ooh. Stairs. To dirt. Oh! This is such a dirty ship. Ah! Oh. Thank goodness I can fly. <laughs> okay. Well, this is Port Cookies. This will be... I don't know. What are we going to name this? Chips Ahoy? <laughs> Maybe. We may just name this Chips Ahoy. Hey, this is the freshest cookies. Good Lord, it's late, 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 late. And uh, stuff gets done in the morning. So, from Port Cookies, this is the beginning of Archimedes Ships. And this is the freshest cookies. Day 22 of the Dough Bowl. Signing off. Ta-ta! <laughs>